How's it going everybody? I hope you're having a beautiful day. Today we're going to take a look at how I was able to get over 27,000 Capital Peak Gold from this last raid weekend. So let's jump right into my favorite base to hit, which is the Barbarian Camp. Now this one is pretty close to the standard layout. Uh, they do have these centralized air bombs, which is a little bit scary. However, with just one Barbarian, we are able to clear these two buildings and open up an entire left-hand side of the base. So here we're just waiting for the Barbarian to go down, because we don't want the Barbarian, being a ground troop, to spawn a ground skeleton out of the graveyards. So once the Barbarian goes down, we drop the graveyards over each of the key defenses that we're trying to take out. It's a little bit strange to see a lower level rocket artillery, but that is what these guys decided to go with. So now we're just trying to drop in one pack of balloons, trying to clear out some of these key defenses on the left hand side, because we want to try and wrap around the base to get to these back end defenses. And luckily we have a couple of balloons that actually get to that second air bomb. So now there's only one air bombs left and one Tesla and a couple other rapid rockets and other stuff. We do have one air skeleton, so it's going to go on and on and on to clear up the trash buildings. I did it just to help open up the deployment for the second attack. But now we pretty much just drop the remaining graveyards over the other air targeting defenses. We have our one pack of minions to help clear up some of the trash on the bottom side. One random barbarian to help clear up the right side. And then begins the fun of the balloon parade. So we're definitely going to start on this left hand side so that eventually when one pack gets targeted by the air bombs we can then send in two packs of balloons to try and get the air bombs taken out very quickly so now there's a bunch of air skeletons which is perfect as so they are distracting then we're able to send in one pack and take it out had about four packs of balloons left and not really any thing to do with them which is kind of crazy so it was a very nice Barbarian Camp 2 shot. If you want to see more of my content, I welcome you to like and subscribe. It helps me out immensely. So let's take a look at the next couple of hits. We're looking at a Balloon Lagoon cleanup attack. Here we have a couple of the rocket artilleries still available. We have almost 5,000 loot for this second attack. And we can see that with just the one graveyard on the right hand side, those skeletons will likely take out the rocket artillery. So our only sort of tricky part is to take out this full health rocket artillery while trying to keep as many of the wizards alive as possible. They are going down pretty quick though, but the one nice thing is that if a bunch of your troops die at the same time, you'll spawn a bunch of skeletons at the same time from the graveyard. So that's where those skeletons spawn super fast, and then we're able to chunk down the rock artillery. Of course, without there being any other splash damage, the one lone graveyard spell took out the rock artillery, and then took out these other two point defenses. So next up, we are going to be taking a look at a capital peak attack. I believe a cleanup attack. Yes, the final hit. So this one, we absolutely destroyed this base with our previous two attacks on a different account. So now it's just nothing left but to swarm the base with 16 packs of balloons. Because why not? There's no splash damage left in the base, and we can pretty much directly target every single air targeting defense. The only thing that does happen, which is a little bit scary, is they actually had some air bombs. 
So those air, once all the balloons grouped up, the air bombs went off, took all the air balloons down to like 30% health. So had they not been able to get to the Inferno Tower quick enough, the Inferno Tower might have been able to take out the majority of the balloons. But in the end, we still had you know, one more pack to help clean up on the on the outer ring to speed things along. And we even got 105 bonus Capital Peak Gold. Next up on the agenda is this current raid, which is the Golem Quarry. Have a cleanup attack here, where the first attack we almost took out the back end rock artilleries. And so we're mostly focused on trying to go and destroy the outer perimeter of defenses and buildings first, and then try to do a dive into the pocket. You know, a lot of times if you are not able to take out these rock artilleries or the blast bow on the back end, as you're trying to have all of your troops come into this very narrow passage, it can be absolutely devastating. So highly recommend spread out the troops, let the giants and the rams tank for the super wizards, and you'll have a very easy time getting through the base. So we're even able to get a bonus of 156 troops from that one attack. Last but not least, we are looking at a first hit on a Wizard Valley. On one of my other videos from this weekend of raids, I had a, almost a, like I think it was a five or 6,000 point attack on a wizard valley which is kind of crazy so i thought well hey got one more attack left why not try and get a bunch of points however i did not really anticipate these sort of back end defenses and literally every single giant is on the right hand side and uh oh what do we see here we have a bunch of wizards that have nothing really to tank for them especially since these spear throwers are on the edge so there's not really a great way to protect them. Yeah, unfortunately, if these giants were out in front, then perhaps we would have been able to take out the majority of the base. But alas, we could not. So we do miss out on you know about a thousand, maybe fifteen hundred of points. But we're still able to get over four thousand in this one attack. So. That's how I was able to get over 27,000 points this weekend. So, hope this video is helpful for you. If you want to check out a couple more videos, they will be on the screen now. And until next time, take care.